This is Listener Powered Radio, KEXP, here on the dial in Seattle at 90.3 FM and in the Bay Area at 92.7 and always streaming around the globe at KEXP.org and on our mobile apps. KEXP is a nonprofit radio station and all of these fantastic live on KEXP sessions are made possible in part by support from folks just like you. If you love watching and listening to these sessions, you can make a donation today at KEXP.org. I am I'm your host, Kennedy, and I am so beyond excited to be here in the live room with Alice Phoebe Liu. Thanks so much for being here. It's an honor to be here. Thank you. If you're ready, we would love to hear some music. It's Alice Phoebe Liu, live on KEXP. Touches my skin, all oh, the shapes and colors. I'm swimming in. The summer's finally here, and orange trees are smiling. I've got my eyes to the sky, the day is calling. Couldn't wipe the grin off of my face. Sure. 
this is just the way Listening to Alice Phoebe Lou live on KEXP. to Alice Phoebe Lou live on KEXP. As I try to exist without caring about the voices in my head, analyzing you would know your head gets full too. I see it in Try to build a life without these worries Bringing us down Just hold me close And be yourself 
Alice Phoebe Lou live on KEXP, playing a handful of songs off of her newest record, Shelter, that came out in 2023, and a single from 2020. 
touch. So beautiful. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. It's so nice to be here. Wonderful. And I would love to talk about your latest record, Shelter. Um, I feel like there's so many themes swirling around on this record, the whole album being infused with this boundless joy, but also a lot of pain and everything that exists in that boundary of emotions. And you just do a phenomenal job capturing that through your lyrics. And in many interviews about your music and the way that you approach writing music, you've really hit home this notion of the deep and sometimes dark places in yourself uh, that you, you kind of go through to ultimately find this release through the creation of these songs. Is this type of songwriting something that comes easy to you or something that can feel more like a challenging endeavor, or just a daunting task to take on? I think it's both, you know, it's kind of scary to go into the deepest, darkest places within yourself. Um, but I find that my most meaningful songs, both to myself and to my audience, um, always come out of that place, you know, and it's such a personal place but yet it becomes personal to so many other people, which always startles me, seeing all these people come to the shows and, and having their own attachments and associations with the songs that may be very different from mine. But I love that they can be open to interpretation and that they can inspire feeling, no matter what that means, whether it's, as you say, joy or pain, because I find that as I've entered this new decade of my life in my 30s, I feel as though going into those places and really picking them apart, feeling through all of the hard feelings is the only way to come out on the other side and to get into the new era and into the new feeling and into the new self. And uh, that's been such a nice exploration with this album. It was very deeply personal. Yeah, I can definitely tell. And uh, I love that it's just you and your guitar in here in the studio today, because your introduction to the world as a musician was uh, through busking across Berlin with just you and your guitar on the streets. I'm wondering how that experience so early on in your musical career impacted the way that you view performing and sharing your music with the world. Totally. I, I actually... I still do it when I can. I play in the parks in Berlin in the summer, uh, here and there. It's obviously a different experience because people show up in, a, in the hundreds and, and come and sit in the park and listen to the songs. Um, but it has been such a fundamental part of who I am as a performer, a musician, and a person. I love, I love music being accessible to all kinds of people. I love the idea that you can just give it to a gift, uh, give, it, give it as a gift to a passerby um, and that anybody can enjoy it and feel it. And, and this idea of also kind of winning over the people on the street and, and inviting them into this cozy bubble that you create. I think that that in turn, I've, I've learned a lot of lessons that I, that I apply to my bigger shows and my band shows and try to really still um, give off that like, I'm playing in your living room energy. Um, and that always feels so nice. And, and I get that kind of feedback from concerts, even as they get bigger and bigger, that people are like, wow, it felt like you were just playing for me in my living room. And that's always what I love uh, to do. That must feel so wonderful, and it truly is a gift to be able to play and uh, have the intimacy with such a big crowd. I think that's a really special skill, and busking obviously helped you out with that, Definitely. which is awesome. And I love that you still incorporate it and still do it. That, yeah. that makes me really happy to hear. Yeah. Um, and your career has definitely morphed and grown, as you said, playing bigger stages uh, since you were busking on the streets. I know that you still busk. But your, uh, your commitment to being an independent artist hasn't really shaken, which is, I think, very admirable. Um, this latest album just adds to a wonderful list of records that you have released all by yourself. Um, how has your independence as an artist allowed you to follow the path that feels most authentic to yourself and your art? It's been everything. I think as it was happening and as I was doing it, I didn't really realize the extent of the freedom that I was giving myself. Now, in the position that I am right now where things are starting to really go well, to have that level of freedom, to have no extra opinions in your ear, whether it's um, regarding the music and the way that you make it and create it, or the, the way that you then 
spread that music out into the world. It just feels amazing to to be so in control. Um, and to be honest, I already have enough opinions in my head. And, you know, just with like the people close to me, I, I've always just really loved to stay away from the, the kind of more intense part of the music industry and the way that it can take away from what really matters. And again, like I, I, I always say that this is not a path for everyone. I'm not, um, I'm not um, you know, crusading on this idea that everyone should be independent because it is also, it comes with its difficulties and it comes with its challenges. Um, but I think I always just encourage other artists who ask for advice to just look at what they need and and find a way to individualize their kind of setup so that it's catering to their needs and what they want to do with, with their career. And, and I think we're entering an era that allows for a lot more nuance in, the, in, those, in that regard. And there's so many more artist-friendly deals and things that, are, that make it possible for us to have a lot more control as artists, which is the way that it should be. Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree with you. And I, I really love how in your songwriting you incorporate this childlike wonder and really radical tenderness, which just like, oh, just like hits, hits in the soul. Um, and you know, I really identified with so many of the themes on Shelter, like finding space to heal your inner child and also this feeling, which I think just really hit home for me, which was finding home within yourself. Yeah. Um, how, has the release of this album served as an act of self-love for you? Oh, I, I wouldn't be able to describe it in just a few words. Um, as I said, like entering this, this new era and stage of my life, it's been so liberating to go to those dark places within myself and, and share and expose feelings that can sometimes feel embarrassing to have or feel, you know, like you're the only one in the world and and clearly I'm not, um, as people have been listening to things and just really enjoying them and relating to them. Um, but it's honestly, music and writing and performing for me is therapy. It's it's really helps me so much to articulate myself and to to understand what's going on in my head because very often before I write the song, I'm not even sure what is going to come out and I look at the page and what I've just written I'm like, "Ah, that's what I'm feeling, you know?" And so just having that kind of connection to myself where I'm able to have this outlet where I can connect with myself more deeply and maybe connect to the human psyche and, and what we all feel and go through a bit more deeply and hopefully inspire others to not shy away from the darker feelings and um, embrace those all those parts of themselves. Um, and definitely finding a home within yourself is a lesson that I will continue to learn. It's not something you learn and now you got it, you know, but um, it's something that I'll take with me forever. So this album will definitely have a big place in my heart for a very long time. Oh, I love to hear it. Mm -hmm. And thanks so much for stopping by again and lighting up the room with your music. <laughs> Seriously, this is so, so wonderful. So thanks thank for you. having me. I felt very, very taken care of over here. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to say a big thank you to our video team as well, our audio engineers and everyone here at KEXP that makes sessions possible. And that includes you, our big KEXP community who supports these live on KEXP sessions and ensures that we can keep them available for free to folks all around the world. If you want to power the music and performances that you love, you can make a donation and become an amplifier at KEXP.org. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more incredible sessions just like this. It's Alice Phoebe Lou live on KEXP. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.